Boom! What's going on? Hey, Darren here with the exercise of the week. I've been getting some questions from uh, some guys about how do I make a V taper? How do I get more width in my back, my lats? How can I make my waist small, smaller? Well, you can make your waist smaller through food and a little bit of exercise. And it's all how you hold your body to make your waistline appear smaller. But if you want your waist to appear smaller, you want to make your back, your lats wider with that look right there. That's gonna make that waist look smaller. So here's a couple tips, three or four tricks on how to exercise the back with what I call cheat pull-ups. Okay, this is my technique. We're gonna get a variety of different grips. I, I like this grip here first, and then I like the reverse grip, and then the traditional palms forward grip. We're gonna do around 10 to 12 repetitions of pull-ups, cheating a little bit with added weight as far as putting my foot on the floor and bouncing up. I use this weight belt only because I wanna add a little bit of weight to my body weight. I'm gonna put a 20 pound dumbbell in here. And so I'm pulling a little bit more weight up than just my body weight. So here we go. So with this handle up here, I'm gonna go palms first, get 10 to 12 good ones. Just one foot on the floor, I just hop up a little bit and then I open my posture up. One, two. Ah, three. Now when you're coming up, you want this technique here, especially with the palms facing each other here, and drive those elbows out to the walls on each side of you to, to isolate this area perfectly. Ah, Come down here and get a little bit of stretch and keep your feet off the floor a couple times. Three more. One. Two. Three. Two. And one. Stay back. Give a negative down nice and slow. Get a nice stretch on the last one. Again, when the palms are facing each other, drive those elbows out to the walls on each side of you. Shake it out a little bit. Maybe just get a stretch on the top of the forearm. Open up the wrist bones. The bottom of the forearm, catch your breath. Wait about a minute. All right, now this is my favorite grip. Reverse grip. Sort of wide. Same thing with the elbows. Three. Four. Getting a little tough, round six. I like to do the 10 repetitions-ish. So I'm gonna take the weight out. Still reverse grip. Keep that chest open, head up and back. Two more. Three, two, one. I'm running out of gas. This is about my third set. The little tiny micro reps in the middle range of motion on the last one or two reps. Shake those hands out a little bit. Catch your breath. Stretch your lats out between the second and the third set. One way to stretch the lats out is to come across. Drop your hips down. Lean in to this left side. Big breath in. And ah. Touch the lat that you're stretching. Big breath in. Ah. Relax your breath into the stretch for three to four seconds. Big breath in. Ah. Relax into the stretch. Touch the lat that you're stretching. Helps you get into the tune of it to relax a little bit more. And also learn how to hold your body and stretch your lats. So posing like a bodybuilder really can get you in tune with relaxing the lats open. And it took me years to understand and to finally start to get the lats to open up and you gotta practice. So something like this, put your hands right here, just like that. Lean back a little bit and try to relax those scapulas out and relax them open. Three, two, one, this is what it looks like from the rear. When you try too hard, everything pinches up. 
So you got to really try to relax. That's called a front and back lat spread. It's not easy. It's a lot harder than it looks. It's really good at syncing up your mind muscle connection. So I'd really, if you want a nice wider back so that your waist looks smaller, I would work really hard on posing and relaxing the lats open and posing and squeezing them at the end of your workout routine, the last half. So here's a double by a rear double bicep pose that opens up the back and works it as well. Spike one of the calves back so he's tightening up the legs first. Drive the elbows down. Elbows towards the wall in front of you. Pinkies come in towards your head. And try to relax the shoulder blades open again. Three, two, one. And that's a rear double bicep pose, opening up the back. This is a front double bicep pose. <clears throat> to try to squeeze the biceps, yes, but trying to show this width on each side. So posing your muscles like a bodybuilder, isometrically squeezing them and getting in tune with that can really enhance the workout. It's a different type of contraction which can get them sore and it's a really good experience to link up the mind-muscle connection as well. The back is definitely the last muscle group that most bodybuilders ever get down on how to open up and, and pose. Um, all right, so now stretching, posing, super important. Getting a good stretch uh, during the set one more set of the cheek uh, pull-ups. And so our last grip is the traditional grip, not too wide with palms forward. Ooh. There's just three or four of my tips that I've used over the years to make one of my weakest body parts, because I was a football player back in 89, into one of my stronger body parts, not weight lifting wise, but uh, posing physique wise. The symmetry of my back was really one of my strong poses, but I had to learn how to train it. It was the hardest muscle group to feel and understand how to train. It took me five years of beating my head against the wall, but in the last 20 years I've made some progress. I hope these tips help you. Please hit the bell below because if you just subscribe to my channel, the way things are going lately on YouTube, you're not going to be uh, uh, alerted of my recent video, my most recent video. So click the bell to make sure you're alerted and notified when I release these. Comment below if you have any questions on back. Did you like it? Didn't you like it? What kind of videos do you like? You do have the power to change to make the rest of your life the best of your life. You can create a V-taper too. Yours might be better than mine. Hey, let's rock it out together, baby.